Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at NVIDIA, AMD, and Tesla on the daily, weekly, monthly time frames. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. So let's get into NVIDIA on the daily chart and bam, I mean pop and then another pop. Unbelievable, guys. We go right into the 130 even number area. That's where it pulls back slightly. Still above the all-time high. Still nice follow through. Let's see if this thing can go higher or is it going to run out of steam. The overall markets, the SPY will tell you know which way it's going. If the SPY stays complacent, this can possibly move higher. If the SPY starts to sell, this can possibly help you know help the uh, lower prices on this one too. But bust through the all-time high, ripping heads off here. Got hats off to this one, guys. But this little pullback at the end here that was interesting. It pulled back almost four or five bucks. So keep an eye on that one. If you look at the ten-minute chart. Right there, right at the end of the day, I was talking to a couple of people on stock to it saying, you know, you got to give this one a shot up here. 130 even number, a little bit stretched, monthly chart. Oh my gosh. And, you know, so far so good. Pull back, a uh, nice little pullback. Doesn't mean it, you know, buy the dip, guys. That dipped, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if more people came in. But hey, gap up on earnings. This thing just keeps ripping. So overall, though, daily chart, nothing wrong above the MAs. Add a nice pop on earnings. Let's see if they do the gap and crap, though. Monthly chart, I am playing that still. Monthly chart, stretch to the hill. Target price somewhere down here around 60, well, I'm going to say 70 bucks. Um, possibly the bottom of this low bar here, 66. But you know what? We'll see that what this thing does. Coming off a slight bullish pattern though, on the monthly, that's a big chart. But if this thing fails and comes right back in, bottom line, monthly chart <clears throat> needs to close above the old uh, all time highs, which was right around the 121 area, 121.50 or so. So keep an eye on that one on the monthly chart. But NVIDIA, guys, hey, hats off. If you're long, protect it. If you're not short, you got to take a short position. At least start one. Half position, quarter position, something. Puts maybe, is this thing, if this thing holds up for a freaking week or two with the markets, I'd wait on puts. I mean, I'd maybe nibble on it, but uh, calls just ripped heads off, guys. So. NVIDIA, nothing wrong. Let's give it another couple days. Let's see what ha uh, Friday's action. Let's see what that happens tomorrow. Getting a lot of news out there too, driving markets. So uh, keep an eye on that as well. All right, let's look at AMD. And AMD, guys, everyone, all the bulls are out, guys, in full force. So be careful if you're bearish on this one. But you know what? Came back in, hit this little pivot here almost. Look at that. Took off. Market's a little bit selling like everything else. When the markets took off, this thing got going. And, you know, by the dippers just couldn't help themselves. I mean, it went as low as 10 and now it's 10.50. They, they got to get in now. So be careful, guys. Still a bearish pattern up here on the daily. Don't get all crazy. All right. High point, low point. You got your fib. You're back above the 250 now going up the other way. But I want to take this retrace out and I'm going to go more short term. Let's see what the retrace is from this low. Let's go this one first. Just to see what we get. Look at that, 750, guys. That's big. I talk about that a lot. Big area is 1175. It has to get above this area. Um, right now, did we get into, yeah, we're above the $11, above the 11? Yeah, 1107. So we got to stay above the 11 and go for the 12 or the 1175. Next area, you got to get above these MAs. And you're going to have uh, resistance up here from once was support, retrace back up. That's going to be a resistance too. So watch for that. And you got a gap fill. Never filled the gap. Gapped it over. So we've got big areas coming up in here. Let's take the retrace from this low now to this high. You know, I'm just looking at every end of this, guys, if you're bullish. 382, 70. So, you know, this area too, maybe. But you definitely get up into this trend line here. You got to start thinking about, you know, chiseling some off, especially if you got it at low, you know, around 10 bucks. You get three bucks on this, guys. That's a great trade. Get out, let it come down, do it again. If you're long term, uh, I guess you can hold down here. I still believe we're going lower prices. And right now, we're holding the 200 MA on the monthly too. Great support. We talked about it. We talked about 945, $10. Kind of came in between, bounced up. Let's see where this thing can possibly go. Again, nothing wrong with the chart. <clears throat> A little bit overextended, but you got good support. Let's see what this thing sets up to do next. If on the daily this comes right back in, this is down sideways bearish action above the 200. If this 200 uh, moving area, cra uh, area cracks, you're going to start filling gaps, guys. I still think we're going down into the sixes possibly, but um, still early to tell. You get to buy the dip mentality in this because I, you know, I don't know anything about the company. I know they make chips or what have you, 
I guess they're good. That's what everyone says, or at least what I read on stock twits. I don't know, but I'm playing the charts. I could care less what they do. And at this point, we're starting to set up possibly in a bearish, nice little retrace bar, and then possibly for the next down. Again, if you're bullish, you know what it needs to do. Bearish needs to break the 200, and I think we're going to go lower. 824. <clears throat> you got a gap fill here, gap fill there. It's not going to go straight down, but again, you never know. It is AMD. And at one point, it did go straight up. So, <clears throat> And then Tesla, guys. What can I say? Came right back in, held this area here. It was the 382 retrace, held some pivots, and boom, right back up. You know, I, I don't know if it's news or Elon's tweeting. Again, daily chart above the MAs, nothing wrong. Coming back up to this high channel up in here. Let's see if we could get through the 327.31, then the 330. If we could get through that, then possibly higher prices. Watch for this area. This is a wall up here. And let's see, or, or watch for this too, the gap up. That means then they don't have to deal with any of this resistance. They gap it up and keep it going. If it does that, comes up, comes back in, that could be a possible top on Tesla. Again, nothing wrong though, guys. He tweeted it his way all the way back above the MA. So, so. But again, you move from 181 to three something in the last, you know, last since last December. Oh, it's time for this one to come in. I don't care. That's way too fast. Wait, just like every other time, guys. Way too fast. Look, straight up, straight down, straight up, kind of straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. Now straight up. So you know they had to get it over all these highs. They had to do it this time. So you know can't make it too obvious. But this time, nice trend line breakout here, guys. Can't can't rule that out. So came back, retraced it. Can't even even came back and closed. Uh, yep, yeah, uh, I don't think it ever confirmed. Pushed back up, and you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine weeks up for the most part. You had a little bit of pullback, and then the slingshot up. So you're up in the range again in this channel. Let's see how it works up there in the next uh, week or so. The monthly chart, though, same thing with all the rest of them. A little bit stretched from the 20 MA. You got to watch out for that because every time it's stretched, you know what happens. The high flyers always come in for landing. Daily chart again, Tesla. Nothing wrong. Back into this area of big resistance. Let's see if they just gap it up over and it goes. If it does that, higher prices to come. I wouldn't rule out. I wouldn't rule out 350 to be honest with you. If this thing gets going. Everybody jumps on board. Everyone, you know, starting to get a little euphoric. So just just be aware of Tesla. Don't don't chase up here. Let it pull back and then buy it if you have to be interested in the stock. So that's my opinion, and uh, I would stick to that. All right, guys, uh, that's it for tonight. If you like these videos, uh, go to stockbookie.com, sign up for the free membership, and you'll get email alerts when I post videos like this, when we go uh, do our live sessions, and when we post our trade ideas, whether we're um, uh, doing some swing trades or some intraday stuff, we post those as well, and you get emails on those. So sign up. It's free, stockbookie.com. All right, guys, thanks again for watching my videos. God bless. See you on the charts.